morning, good morning. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Yes, God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Glory. Glory to his holy name for his grace. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Just thank him for his grace. What would we do without his grace? My God, my God. Yes, God. Good morning, good morning. Yes, God. Thanking him for his grace. <laughs> yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. I do not own the rights to this music. That is the great B.B. and C.C. Whining singing. Grace. <laughs> Thank him for his grace on this morning. What a wonderful, awesome, mighty God we serve. It is his grace and his mercy that keeps us going from day to day to day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, good morning. It is all to God's grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for your grace. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy and your kindness. Oh, what a wonderful, awesome God we serve. It is his grace that motivates. It is his grace that empowers us. It is his grace that keeps us going day by day by day. What would we do without his grace? Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where would we be without his grace hallelujah hallelujah thank you god what a wonderful god we serve yes indeed he makes us whole and our soul is reborn yes god that is his grace thank you lord yes god what can wash our sins hallelujah Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. His grace, his grace, his grace. What would we do without it? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to God be the glory. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Good morning, good morning, and good morning again. I am truly honored and blessed to come before you once more and again on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ministers Minutes with Minister Tolliver, where we fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. To God be the glory for his grace in the name of Jesus. If you woke up this morning with a praise on your heart, you woke up this morning to open your eyes to a beautiful daylight, to brand new grace and brand new mercy, just thank him. Oh God, let that wash over you. Let that anointing fall on you in the name of Jesus. His grace, his grace, his grace is sufficient. Ah, yes, God. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, yes, God, yes. His grace is sufficient. Yes, God, for me and for you and for you and for you. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Ministers Minutes with Minister Tolliver, where we fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. I do my very best to come before you Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time in the name of Jesus. want to say happy birthday to all the birthdays being celebrated on today. May God be, give you peace, joy, and laughter on today and many, many more birthdays to come. Amen, amen, amen. 
also want to uh, keep compassionate hearts for those who are grieving and mourning or who are sick and shut in or suffering any kind of sadness or sorrow. Amen. We want you to know here from here at the Minister's Minutes family, we are praying with you and praying for you. To God be the glory and you are never alone. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Now let us open our hearts and our minds to worship him and fellowship together. Hallelujah. Let us fellowship together and worship him in spirit and in truth. Just remember every single time that he came through at the midnight hour, every single time that you didn't know how you would make something work or make something happen and he came through and every single time your family member or your loved one was ill and it looked like all the doctors had a bad report but God came through in the name of Jesus at the midnight hour in the name of Jesus just let that memory wash over you just remember how good he is how faithful he is how constant he is in the name of Jesus oh father God we come to lift your name on high father we fellowship in the name of Jesus. We come together to worship you, God. We worship you. We honor you and truly we adore you, God. We thank you that you are God alone in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you are God that does not change in the name of Jesus. You're the same God yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Oh, glory to your name. Hallelujah. We are thankful, Father. We are coming with thankful hearts on this morning. We are thankful, God, in the name of Jesus for food and clothing and shelter, God. In the name of Jesus for a reasonable portion of health and strength, God. In the name of Jesus for your love, your gracious mercy and your kindness God hallelujah we thank you father for all things great and small God we thank you father in the name of Jesus for Jesus we thank you father in the name of Jesus for the Holy Spirit God we thank you in the name of Jesus for this ministry God we ask that you would rain down your anointing God let it fall fresh and heavy for us God in the name of Jesus that you would shift the atmosphere on today God in the name of Jesus father that you would look and have mercy on us for anything and everything we said that was outside of your will God right now in the name of Jesus God asking that you will lift up those who are sick and shut in, God. Those who are grieving and broken hearted, God. In the name of Jesus, give them peace, God. Wrap your loving arms around them and lift them up, oh God. In the name of Jesus, praying for those, Father, in the name of Jesus, who are unsaved and don't know you, God. Praying for those who haven't met you yet. Praying for those who haven't had their mustard seed activated, God. In the name of Jesus, let them come running asking what they must do to be saved let them come running to the cross God in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to your name God praying for those God who need it praying for those who seek it praying God right now in the name of Jesus for every single some someone who posted pray for me we are praying for him God in every single someone who said pray for their family we are praying for him God right now in the name of Jesus in our worship unto you in our worship worship and praise unto you. We worship and praise you, God, because you deserve all the honor, the glory, and the praise, God. Look upon us and have mercy, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, wrap your loving arms around us and grant that we may be like you. Grant that we may walk like you. Grant that we may talk like you. Grant that we may always be an example to them of you, God. We love you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you, God. We honor you. We worship you and truly deep we adore you God have your way in this message and let it shift the atmosphere have your way in this message and let it make change God in the name of Jesus we love you we honor you and truly deeply we adore you God in the name of Jesus hide me behind the cross oh God that only your message come forth that only your word is seen God in the name of Jesus I am but your servant use me as you will God in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful, awesome, and mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ministers, minutes with Minister Tolliver, where we fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. 
thanking God for such a wonderful worship experience together on today. Amen. And now let us prepare ourselves to go into the word in the name of Jesus. All minds clear, all hearts open. Yes, God. Yes, God. Our scripture text on today is coming from the book of James chapter 1 verses 12 through 15. Amen. Yes, God. The book of James, chapter 1, verses 12 through 15. Amen. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Glory to God. I'll be coming from the New King James Version. And the word of the Lord reads as thus. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then, when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Mm, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hang your head right there as the Lord brings a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his most holy word. The message that the Lord wants us to get down in our hearts and in our spirits on today is tried and true. Yes, God. Yes, God. Mm. Tried and true. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Holy Spirit with the word. Mm -mm -mm. My God, my God. Y'all better buckle up in the name of Jesus <laughs> and let us unpack the word so uh, here in verse 12 blessed is the man who endures temptation so it's not to say uh, the man who avoids temptation or the man who gets around temptation um, here the key is endurance amen amen come on here we learn that we can be blessed as we endure temptation uh-huh there is a special gift from god come on to the one who can say no to temptation and then therefore saying yes to god come on come on the purpose is to approve us that through the testing come on we would be revealed as genuine and strong in our faith uh-huh tried and true yes god yes god in the name of Jesus. Here, James reminds us. Here, it, it goes on to say he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Now, here, James reminds us that it really is worth it to endure temptation. Come on. The temptations that we face because we'll be rewarded with the crown of life. Yes, God. Yes, God. Why? Because our motive is love for God. Oh, my God. Come on, Holy Spirit. Yes. This is the best motive. Amen. For resisting temptation is our love for God. Mm. Yes, God. Yes. And then let us break down temptation a little bit. God is saying that we need some clarification. Amen. Because uh, usually when we as believers hear or usually people hear the word temptation, their minds immediately go to um, physical things and, and um, you know, uh, sexual orientation and, and things like that. It goes to a carnal activity. However, temptation is 
anything that is trying to lure you or deter you from keeping your mind stayed on Jesus. Oh my God, come on Holy Spirit. Temptation can come in any way that will cause a weakness for you to pull away from God. Come on Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Okay, so here's an example that everybody can relate to. You have been in a, you've been in that line, you've been in line at the grocery store, say. You've been in line for 25 minutes, and it seems like it's going to take forever for you to check out. And as you progress through the line, uh-huh, you have this one person behind you. They're just cursing and foul at the mouth and talking crazy. And when you look at them, like, excuse me, then they go off on you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The temptation comes for you to snap back. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know everybody can relate to that one. Yes, God, yes. The temptation is for you to snap back, and that will pull you out of Jesus Christ. Amen? And so to endure that, come on, stay with me, to endure that temptation right there and to not do the thing that you are being tempted to do, which is let them have it or give them a few choice words of your own. Come on, Holy Spirit. Then therefore, you are doing what this word is telling us. You are resisting temptation. You're saying no to that temptation and yes to God. Come on, Holy Spirit. So to be very clear, temptation can be anything anything person place or situation set of words arguments any kind of environment con that is set to pull you away from keeping your mind stayed on jesus it ain't always got to do with with the physicalness amen it's always not always have to do with a carnal nature come on it does have to do with things that would invade us mentally spiritually socially and emotionally oh my god come on holy ghost and so these are the temptations come on that we are to resist yes god and endure come on holy spirit stay with me here in verse 13 verse 13 says let no one say when he is tempted i am tempted by god come on temptation does not come from god hello temptation does not come from god though he allows it he himself does not entice us to evil come on holy spirit nor does he tempt anyone come on holy spirit in the name of jesus let no one say when he is tempted i am tempted by god god cannot be tempted by evil and he does not himself tempt anyone amen when god allows a temptation to come into your path come on stick with me when god allows a temptation to come into your path he is watching you for where you stand in your faith oh my god come on holy spirit it's not about the temptation there it's about your being tried at your faith it's about he's watching you to see where you at he's watching you to see if all that shouting and clapping and crying and running them down the aisle if all of that bible reading and all of them bible studies and all of them sunday morning services you've been racing and running to he's trying to see if it's down in your spirit oh my god come on Oh, Holy Ghost, help me preach this Jesus. When God allows a temptation to come in our path, he is watching us. Come on, Holy Spirit. We're talking about tried and true. Amen, amen, amen. We're talking about tried and true. Come on, Holy Spirit. Verse 14 says, but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and entice. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Come on, Holy Spirit. God doesn't tempt us. Instead, temptations comes when we are drawn away by our own fleshly desires. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit, and entice. Again, fleshly desires do not necessarily mean physical acts of carnality. Come on, Holy Spirit. We are, we are flesh, right? God, we are spirit, 
body in flesh. Come on, Holy Spirit. The spirit realm is where we as believers will live and dwell. God is spirit. Come on, Holy Ghost. Jesus left us with the Holy Spirit and dwelling inside of us. Come on, Holy Spirit. So therefore, once we give our lives to Christ, we are spirit beings. We see with a spiritual eye. We react with a spiritual reaction. We are spiritual. Come on, Holy Spirit. Now we are embodied in flesh. Come on. And so fleshly desires can be, again, anything that draws you away from keeping your mind stayed on Jesus, from keeping your behavior stayed on Christ, from keeping your language stayed from the Lord. Oh, my God. Come on, Holy Spirit. So therefore, this says each one. Notice it doesn't say everyone. We ain't all the same. Each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. That can be anything that will draw you away. Let me tell you something. You can't be, you can't be tempted or enticed by something you don't want in the first place. Uh-oh. Here we go, Jesus. Come on, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Satan tempts. Mm -hmm. But we are drawn away by our own desires. You cannot be tempted by something you don't desire. Oh my God, come on, Holy Spirit. And so Satan, in his light, in his capacity, come on, Holy Spirit, is using what he sees that we desire in the back of our hearts. Oh my God, come on, Holy Ghost. That can be anything. Stick with that. Anything that draws you away from the love of Jesus Christ and walking in your walk with God. Come on, Holy Spirit. That car that you know you might not be able to afford right now. That that that, that, that car that your, your neighbor just got. That 2022 that she driving around in and you, 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 you got that desire in your heart. So then Satan will in turn put an opportunity in your way that is a, a temptation to the desire of your heart. So now a car comes up just like that one, but you can only get it if you don't pay these bills. Come on, Holy Spirit. So he's trying to tempt you not to pay them bills and get this thing because it is a desire of your heart. Are you with me? Oh, come on, Holy Ghost. These scriptures are saying to us, blessed is the man that endures temptation. So that same scenario, you would say, uh-uh, I don't need that car that bad. I'm going to pay my bills. In the name of Jesus, come on, Holy Ghost, because that is of God. God wants us to do things decently and in order. Hallelujah. When God blesses us with something, it is smooth as butter. We ain't got to do anything that compromises us in any way. Oh, my God. We're talking about tried and true. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Teach, Lord, teach. Come on, Holy Spirit. Verse 15 reads, then, come on, then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. My God, my God, come on, Holy Spirit. So, one leads right to the other, come on, our desire is activated by the temptation we have and then we have a choice come on so the temptation presents itself and we must choose come on holy spirit we must choose god gives us freedom of choice at the time the temptation arises for us we must then choose come on saying no to temptation is saying yes to god but sometimes Folk don't say no to temptation. Come on, Holy Spirit. God is calling on us to be tried and true in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, yes. And sin is because when you choose the temptation, when you choose the temptation, you say no to God. Therefore, you are willing and able and ready to do things that are unlike God, which is sin. Come on, Holy Spirit. This is not the fire and brimstone you learned about in, as a kid. This here, any sin, sin is making a conscious choice 
to do the opposite of what God calls us to do. Come on, Holy Spirit. There it is, God, in the name of Jesus. So it is a conscious choice to do the opposite of the will of God in the name of Jesus. Come on, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. We're talking about being tried and true. Yes, God, yes. And so here in the, in the verse, in verse 15, it says sin when it is full grown. Let's talk about that. Sin when it is full grown, what does that mean? It means that you have, number one, you've already made the decision and the choice to go with that temptation, which is on the outside of God. Come on. And so now that you out there, come on, now you out there doing and saying and behaving all types of ways outside of the will of God. And not only that, you've done it for so long, on and on and on, that it has become bigger to you than your life with God. Oh my God, come on, Holy Spirit. This is when it is full grown. Come on. And it brings forth death. Now, we are spirit being. God is spirit. We are talking about a mental, spiritual, social, and emotional death. Mm -hmm. We know the word death means end. It means to come to an end. Come on, Holy Spirit. It means that all things that were good in your mind, your heart, and your spirit comes to an end. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, I hope y'all getting this. Come on, Holy Ghost. We're talking about being tried and true. So sin is conscious choosing to, to go with temptation and not go with God. And sin that's full grown is a continuous staying in that space. It's continually choosing temptation and not God. Over and over again. That, you're making it full grown. You're making it bigger to you than your God was. Come on, Holy Spirit. And that brings forth death, which is the end. It is the end of all things that were good and, and likewise in your spirit that when you were with God. Oh my. Mm. Come on, Holy Ghost. I hope they're getting it. We're talking about tried and true day by day. Believers are tried by the fire of temptation. Come on, Holy Spirit. Day by day, we find ourselves looking at situations and making constant choices. We have to choose God over and over and over all the time in the name of Jesus. Why? Because Satan is bringing his mess over and over all the time. Hallelujah. Why? Because he knows the desires of your flesh. In the name of Jesus, pay attention to that. The word says that God will give you the desires of your heart. Satan will tempt you with the desires of your flesh. Oh my God, come on Holy Ghost. And each time we deny temptation, we and say yes to God and we get stronger and tried and true. We prove ourselves tried and true to God. We are approved because we've shown ourselves tried and true to God. And what is the reward? The crown of life. Come on, Holy Ghost. And God gives that to those he loves. Yes, God. So we are in a constant state of choosing in the name of Jesus. We stand firm in the Lord. And every time we say no to temptation, we say yes to God. Hallelujah. No, I'm not going to participate in that argument. Yes. I'm going to get in my word. No, I'm not going to let them have it even though they call me all kinds of names. Yes, I'm going to pray and praise my God. Hallelujah. No, I'm not going to buy some I can't afford. Yes, I'm going to tithe and be true. No, I'm not going to go over there where I know trouble is waiting on me. Yes, I'm going to go to the church house where I know my family loves me. Oh my God. We're talking about tried and true hallelujah glory to god yes god mm. we stand firm in the lord and every time we say no to temptation we say yes to god hallelujah it shows us to be tried and true. Tried and true is our daily goal. Our daily goal. I may be tried, hallelujah, but I'll stay true to you, Lord. I may be tried and tested. I may be tried in the fire. I may have this trial on me. He may be bringing that temptation on me, but I'm going to stay true to you, God. You'll stay true because they keep trying me, but I know how to stay 
stay true. I can stay true to you, God, because you stay true to me. I'm talking about tried and true. They're going to keep on. You're going to always be tried. Amen. But you must always endure so that you can be approved to be true. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Give God the praise. Give God the honor and give God the glory. Yes, God. Glory to your name. Oh, my God. Tried and true. Oh, my God. Father God, we thank you for the power in your message. I pray, dear God, it has fallen on fertile ground and changed someone. I pray that it shifts the atmosphere, God. Let us always know the difference, God, in the name of Jesus when we are tempted, God. Let us know the difference from the desires of our hearts and the desires of our flesh in the name of Jesus. And let us always, always prove to be tried and true. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Yes, God. Oh. Ooh. This has been Minister's Minutes with Minister Tolliver, where we fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. I do my very best to come before you Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. I love you so much. I love you like Jesus loved the church. Bye, y'all.